because now talk about the vasculature or the vascular supply of your esophagus. So remember that uh, we have divided the uh, esophagus into two parts, thoracic region and the abdominal region. So the thoracic part of the esophagus, which is right over there, let me remove the... All right. So gastro, which is we have also activated the gastroepileptic respiratory. No, we don't. We don't need a respiratory. All right. So this is it. the thoracic part of the esophagus receives its arterial supply from the branches of your thoracic aorta. Right. Uh, you get this diagram. So your um, the thoracic part of your esophagus receives the arterial supply from your thoracic aorta and the inferior thyroid artery, a branch of which is a branch of the thyrocervical trunk and venous drainage, uh, the same as the uh, azygous veins and the inferior thyroid veins. If we're talking about the abdominal part, remember the abdominal esophagus is supplied by the uh, what we call left gastric artery and which is a branch of the celiac trunk. We have already talked that celiac trunk has uh, three parts if you haven't, uh, three branches. If you haven't seen the lecture on the celiac trunk, please make sure to see the lecture on celiac trunk and the abdominal aorta and its branches to have a good idea regarding it. And uh, now let's talk about it furthermore. And we know that the abdominal is supplied by abdominal is supplied by the left gastric and the left inferior phrenic artery. So this part of the esophagus has a mixed venous drainage. Uh, we had two, uh, two roots. Uh, one is the your portal uh, via left gastric vein. We know that the uh, port via portal vein, and the second one is your system of circulation in the azygous vein. So this is it regarding the. Uh, this is it regarding what we call the uh, anatomic, uh, the vasculature of your esophagus. If we talk about the nerve innervation, remember that the esophagus is innervated by the esophageal plexus. So your esophageal plexus, which is actually formed by the combination of your parasympathetic vagal trunks and sympathetic fibers from your cervical and your thoracic sympathetic trunks. So two different types of nerve fiber run in the vagal trunks, the upper esophageal sphincter and the upper striated muscle which is supplied by fibers originating from your nucleus ambiguous. And now let's talk about the lymphatics uh, and in case of lymphatics so the lymphatic drainage of the esophagus which is also divided into three parts because we have divided the uh, esophagus into three parts on, on the basis of its uh, muscular muscularity of the longitudinal muscles so which is the external one the remember that the superior third which is this part is drained into the deep cervical lymph nodes the middle third is in the superior and posterior mediastinal nodes and the lower third which is right over here the smooth part so made of smooth muscle is uh, drained into left gastric and celiac nodes. So this is it uh, the lecture on this is all the lecture on your what we call the esophagus which is a pretty good detail to understand and uh, if you need any lecture on any topic please make sure to give us a comment and we'll be making a next video see you soon and keep visiting tight schooling and once more. Please subscribe to our channel. See you soon.